of seven days to die here on the cage gauge channel we're gonna waste no time today in getting started because today is day seven and that officially means that we are going to have our first <clears throat> so i gathered a little bit of materials that we're going to take with us uh, some wood food of course uh, some wooden hatches we're going to lay those on the floor to kind of block the zombies and some cobblestone rocks now we'll have to harvest some more um, as well, but that'll be a good start. I want to take two honeys, let's see, and pry our one antibiotic just in case. I'm going to take two coffees, all of our first aid bandages because I seem to not be able to not to get hit, and I'll take the mega crushes too. Sound disgusting. Oh, Miss Jiggly.
Let's get him out here. Is there another one? Yep. Hello, nurse. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> Not dead yet. Now you are. Trying to catch me slipping. Oh, it's twins. Oh, and Lurch. Oh, we got a little wandering horde here. Lovely. Come on, y'all. You dead? Sounds like Dig more that way. Good old Lois. Uh, Peter. Yep. Plenty. that breaching slugs rocket heavy oh okay A crap ton of coin
so the zombies take a little bit of damage, especially if you're trying to there's on the sides here. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they'll this way. But just in case I have someone this side as well and knocked out that whole section they decide to come that way. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up here. inventory and see what we get. Holy crap that thunder. I hear him running up. Where are they at?
for a splint cloth. I just need duct tape. Where is the duct tape? I think the birds are the last thing, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop this open. Was there only the one? here. Alright, so we're fatigued. So we can keep up and secure that. That's, that's no problem. We have a sprained arm, which is over in about six minutes, so that's Alright, so all considered, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> a lot more dogs than I expected to show up. A lot more dogs. Uh, I actually didn't expect to see any. A sledge turret. Awesome. Alright, we're not really using spears, but I'll, I'll read that anyway. All things considered, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good horde night, honestly. Block damage? It does. Well, that's cool to have. Uh, I don't plan on this base. This setup. Set up. Uh, I think I'm going to rethink some things. Because I just. I just have way too many hits for, for this small set to be justified. Uh, I think part of it is this hatch here. They got some cheap hits through the hatch on me, uh, so that didn't help. I think if this hatch was spun around where it opened this way against the front of this one, I think we'd have this. So I might tear that one out and make it over here. I also, since we don't have a cop yet, I also might turn some of these into bars. Wooden bars, and iron bars, like the roof, and and some of these sides. That way, I can be shooting at them while they're down on the ground, or while the birds are flying through, and I'm having to wait until they break through. I'm also wanting to work on a better exit strategy. I'm pretty sure that jump from here down to there would break my break my leg. And I think for the first horde we did really well, especially with the gerbils being thrown at us. Let's see how many skill points. We got four skill points tonight. Just the horde. So I'm going to be thinking about how we want to, uh, how we want to move with the skill points. I think I want to start putting some into uh, Lucky Looter. What does salvage operator give us? 
We harvest more. I think we might start going into Lucky Looter a bit. That way we just have a little bit of a boost. And you know what? In fact, I'll, I'll give at least the first one. Um, and then I think agility wouldn't be a bad thing to go into. Running so I can run away and load and won't take as much of a penalty. That wouldn't be too awful bad. Uh, intellect, of course. We always want want more intellect. What is the electrician? You can inv you can unlock electrician stuff. Battery banks and nail guns. And that one you can start crafting in a crucible. So. So we can unlock the mini bike now. Let's go ahead and do that because we know we can do it eventually. Anyway. Um, and I think I'm also going to go into. Alright, so now we got some things unlocked. Um, Gunslinger is good, it'll increase our damage with the pistol, which is always good. Even though it's just a level 2, we're gonna hopefully get the game moving forward. But alright, guys, the thing I'm gonna leave with this one here it looks like we successfully survived our very first Horde Night. Like I said, this isn't the very just the very first Horde Night of the series. It's my personal very first Horde Night. So let me know what you think. How you Comments below, don't roast me too hard. My, my broken broken leg calms down a bit. My brain's gone though. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to take the time and thank you guys for coming out and and watching another episode of Seven Days of the Night here on the Cage Gauge channel. Um, I appreciate all the support on the previous videos, and I love seeing the Cage Gang grow. It's growing on Instagram at a rapid pace. Facebook's starting to grow as well, and we're growing our following over here, right here on YouTube. So I just like to say thank you all for all the support. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like below. Leave a comment or a question you may have. I respond to all of the comments. If you're new here or haven't done so yet, please some please consider subscribing. And if you do, ring that bell so you know. See you guys in the next one.